If you're happy with the thumbnail behaviors, the way things act on rollover, then you won't need to touch this, but there is an action script file here called thumbnailbehaviors.as, which is embedded in the gallery engine script. And I've tried to make it easy for you to modify those behaviors. Right now, what it does is it loops through the list of thumbnails, and if here it says if this thumb equals null. What that means is if it doesn't find a movie clip with the same name as the one on your list, it says your thumbnail instances don't match the ones in the array. Check for a mismatch on whichever one glitched. So the error messages are a little less cryptic than typical flash error messages. I've got a custom one built in and it'll help you track down problems. Um, this thumb button mode equals true. Show the hand cursor. And then what we do is we attach a listener to each button over, out, and click. If you wanted other listeners, feel free to add them. And then here are the simple functions that handle that. On over, I have the alpha equals 0.5, which is 50%. If I wanted to change the scale X and scale Y, for example, have an image enlarge on mouse over, I could change that to evt.target.scale X equals evt.target.scale Y equals 1.2 and then reset those to 1. Anything is possible and all you have to do is evt.target is the target of the event. The event is the click, the out, or the over. So that's basically whichever button you clicked on and then whichever property or properties you want to change, plug them in. So I've made it real easy here to customize the um, button behaviors. And then the last thing we want is there is a get content function which exists in the galleryengine.as. That takes the name of whatever button was clicked and runs it through um, another script that decides what kind of content to load. And that's it. Um, chances are you won't need to touch this if you're happy with the way it works, but it does offer you a simple place to customize the button behaviors. To make that work, simply save this one before you test your movie.